is Dorothy with Dot Scrapbooking, and I am going to do uh, some of the creative, what is it called? Creative Magazine Sketch Challenges, and I'm doing December. I'm going to do these others too, um, just not right now, so I'm going for this one. And the pa paper I am using is uh, Gnomes for Winter. And so we've got that. Look at this wonderful. I really like this. Um, I'm going to use the snow side. And then we've got all these words with burr and cold outside and um, with the nice stripe on the back. So I'm definitely going to use the words because that's definitely appropriate. Um, Mid-January in the Plano area uh, where we are, it got to be, it was very cold for quite a few days. And, okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this down about a half an inch all around. And then I will put my snow paper down. So, um, you know, anymore, if it's too cold out, I'm not going outside. But, of course, Daisy always has to go outside. So I did take some pictures of her and decided this paper would be perfect for her picture out in the snow. I think I'm going to scooch that up just a little bit like that. And here is the sticker sheet. And I do like this border. So I think I'm going to, it looks like swirling snow, which is real fun. So I'm just going to go over this from end to end, just like that. And then snip it off. So... The paper I'm using on the background is the light side of Periwinkle. And I'm going to use the darker side of Periwinkle for the top here. And here are some snow pictures I took of the backyard. So we've got it, well, you know, y'all may laugh, but when it snows, it's kind of a big deal to people in the North Texas area. So I am going to go ahead and put my pictures on my backgrounds and I'm using the dark side of Periwinkle for the pictures. And there is Daisy. And I really, you know, snow doesn't stay around for very long around here usually. Um, but I like to take pictures just as kind of, a, you know, this is what's going on. And I think I will tuck these pictures in like that and just kind of put Daisy front and setter. <laughs> she, lo she looks so worried out there. Poor dog. She's getting older. So it's, I think, and it's a little rough on her uh, to be out in the cold, but she doesn't stay out for very long, I can tell you. And this is going to be just a single, single page layout. Then I think what I'm going to do is pop this up a little bit. And I'm not worrying about things being even. Actually, what I might do is put it down here so I know it's going to be in the right spot. And 
and then she is going to overlap the other pictures. Okay, so we have that, and I think I'm going to use the title that comes with the, uh, should I use some Winter Memories or Snow Days? I don't know. I think I'll put a snow day here. I do like this Winter Memories banner. And then we have this other nice little journaling thing, and I am going to pull out my, my journaling pen, which is someplace. There's my little pen. And I'm going to put January 15th. Two four, and put Daisy in the snow. It's cold outside. There we go. So the other thing I wanted to do, these are winter acrylic shapes. And I want to use some of these snowflakes around around the pictures. And I think what I want to use are the small dots. And Just adding, adding some dimension. Put another, I like this snowflake. Now I did want to add a little bit of glitz, so I'm going to add some of the um, a sparkle on the snowflakes.
and a few down here. So this is just going to be a super simple page. And there we go. Let me come up just a tad. There we go. Winter Memory Snow Day. So, like I said, this is a super simple page. So thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, I'm Dorothy Smith. Thanks for watching my video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel and learn along with me. Thanks. Bye-bye.